have all of these things. I might cut it to like here. And I found like the best thrifting find I've ever found. We're gonna end off this week's vlog with a little book chat again. I love the things you said, you said to me. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. This week we are going to be filming a week in my life. So this week I'm really gonna start preparing to come back in person, which is exciting. I am writing my to-do list of all the things I need to do because there's a ton of stuff I have to do to prepare, obviously, and I'm definitely not gonna get it all done this week, but I can kind of start thinking through like the logistics of like, how are we gonna do routines? What kind of supplies are they gonna need at their desk? Um, what kind of things can I prepare right now with the information that I do know? So I wrote my little to-do list on the board I'm going to show you guys and I'm gonna do a couple of things around the classroom with you guys this morning before my class zoom But if you guys are new here, hello, my name is Haley. I'm a second year kindergarten teacher I would love it if you would subscribe also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and also feel free to follow along on Instagram I share there all the time and would love to have you over there as well. So let me show you my to-do list that I've written so far. All right, so, so far I have all of these things. These are just my like first brainstorm of things that I want to start doing to prepare. Um, and I think it's so funny because obviously like so many teachers, whenever they're setting up their classroom, including myself, will always write their to-do list on the whiteboard. I feel like it's just like a teacher thing. And so since we're preparing for a new start, I wrote my to-do list on the board and then I'll just slowly work through these like this. I'm not going to be able to do for a long time because I don't have my class list yet. Um, there's some ideas that I just need to kind of think through, like if we're going to have some play to learn bins, um, what I'm going to plan for the first week back. Like a lot of these things are just like so that I have them on the board so I don't forget about them, but I don't necessarily think I'm going to be able to do all of these things like in this order or even this week. So I'm going to start working through some of these things and um, just kind of, you know, feel like I'm getting some stuff done. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. Okay, so I'm gonna hand these out. I'm obviously not gonna write their names down because as I mentioned, I don't have my class list, but um, if you are a teacher, I would really recommend always buying extra name tags, like maybe just like one or two sets so that if you get new students, you have name tags. If you, you know, the name tags get all beat up, you have another set, but these ones are my favorite. They're from the Target Dollar Spot. I like that they have the letters, the numbers, the shapes. These are just my favorite. And so I have an extra pack and then I also just have a few extras from last year. And then these are my favorite. They're so easy to get off of the tables. They don't leave like a ton of residue. You're really easily able to clean them. I <laughs> stocked up on these this year. And so I am gonna hand one of these out to each spot for each student and then also hand out a name tag. And then whenever I do get my class list, it'll be ready for me to write their names on. All right, you guys, it is my lunchtime. I have some leftovers. We got some really good teriyaki um, this weekend. So I'm having leftover teriyaki and I'm so excited, but let's have a little lunch chat. Um, so what we've been up to this week in class, we are assessing again. And so I feel like we're always assessing, even though I know that it's been like over a month, it just feels like we're always testing. Um, and so we're assessing, and so we got through a couple of kids today, which was exciting to see their progress, and hopefully all of them will make a lot of progress. Since there's a few different adults that are testing throughout the week that we're testing, um, I have a Google Doc that basically has their assessment online so that we can all edit at the exact same time live. But I also have to go through and add in all of their scores to their actual physical paper copies. So I'm gonna have to do that today for the ones that we have already finished. 
and we also did a really cute craft today let me go grab it this is the craft that we did today it's so cute and just happy and sunshiny it's the first day of march and so um, we decided to do this fun little craft and it's you know really good because it helps them work on their fine motor skills because they're tearing or cutting coloring stuff like that and it turns out really cute so that was fun they really enjoyed it it did take quite a while though i will say it took at least like 30 minutes which was fine because it allowed um, us to test at the same time that we were doing the craft but it was super fun so that's how our morning went really low-key really fun um, and so I have my office hours I'm gonna use my office hours to test a couple kids and then yeah that's our <laughs> plan um, my classroom starting to look again a little bit more organized in like a classroom for a while it was just like my stuff everywhere and now like I put all of the little pocket charts back there their little small group bins I put out all of their little bins that I'm planning on using for their stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna eat my lunch and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, I wanted to show you guys what we're having for dinner tonight. So we're having this green curry with a bunch of vegetables. So it has mushrooms, carrots, broccoli, red onion, chickpeas, red bell pepper, garlic, turmeric, just so many yummy, um, nutritious vegetables and yummy things in there. And then we're gonna have it with some jasmine rice that's almost done cooking and that's gonna be our dinner i've made this recipe before it's so good it smells so good i just love this recipe so i'm excited to have some of this tonight for dinner So I haven't like picked up the camera at all this morning um, and it's actually my lunchtime now So welcome to another lunch chat. I have some leftovers from last night We made this really yummy green curry with like a ton of vegetables um, And some jasmine rice and a little bit of chicken. It is seriously so good and my husband doesn't even like Curry and he actually really liked it. So I'm excited to eat this for lunch, but we had a really busy day today It was actually a good day, too um we are almost finished with all of our assessments we have a few kids left like maybe a handful like four um and then everyone else i'm really actually impressed with their results so far i'm really excited because they are showing growth so i'm really excited to see all of their results and plug them in and see how everything ended up going um and yeah we just had a chill day but anyways it is my lunch time now so i'm gonna eat my lunch probably finish up the podcast i was listening to on my drive here and honestly i'm planning on leaving as soon as i can today because i am taking a few pd classes um they're offered through washington state for free right now and so i'm trying my hardest to finish all of those at least by the end of march and so i want to really step it up i'm like halfway done so i have like half of the classes left so i want to work on those this afternoon and i also want to finish the book that i'm reading um so that's pretty much um what's going on hey you guys i am back home now obviously i just filmed a reel so i need to put this stuff away i did like a little mini thrift haul i got this cute little plant spritzer which i'm so excited to use for my plants but um i'm gonna put this back so i saw on line today on instagram actually that starbucks released like that they're using oat milk now um so there's a couple of special drinks that um have oat milk and you can just order oat milk with like your normal latte or whatever your normal order is. So I told Warren about it and then he went and got me one. So this is like the brown sugar something, something. I don't remember what it's called, um, but it's like the brown sugar oat milk drink that just was released. And I really, really like it. It is not like super sweet. So if you really enjoy like super sweet coffee drinks, then this is probably not it for you, but I really, really like it so far. And so I'm really excited about that, but I think I'm gonna go get a haircut. We have a hair salon like literally so close to our house. And so I might go get a haircut, I think. Um, I am trying to grow out my natural hair color just because dyeing your hair is so expensive. Um, and I don't know, I just decided I want to grow out my natural hair color. And so I want to cut my hair to maybe like here. I don't know. I don't know if that's too short. 
um but it's like this length right now and so i'm thinking i might cut it to like here but i don't know for sure i don't know if i should but i kind of feel like i need a refresh maybe i'll just get a trim all right i just got home i got my haircut so this is the length i showed you guys the before so you guys will have to let me know if this is considered short or not i feel like this is pretty short um it's definitely the shortest i've had my hair since like freshman year of college um i just needed a fresh start and i'm trying to grow out my natural hair color and so i wanted to chop off a lot of the dyed part but obviously there's still like half of my head is still dyed which is fine um but i showed warden he like didn't even tell the difference he said it didn't look that short but for me like it seems really short compared to what it was um but yeah that is my after i'm excited i didn't get any layers put in because i want to try and grow it out like all one length um because i just like the way that that looks better but anyways so that is my little haircut i'm excited it feels a lot better the ends were definitely needing a little cut and yeah so i don't know what else we're gonna do tonight um we're gonna make some dinner tomorrow is wednesday and so i actually work from home on wednesdays and so i'm gonna set up my office tomorrow and show you guys what we get up to and yeah but i wanted to show you guys my haircut hey friends happy wednesday so i am at home today obviously i work from home on wednesdays most weeks unless we have like a distribution or something just because i only meet with my kids for 30 minutes in the morning and we just do like a check-in we do like a craft or something and then the rest of the day i have a ton of meetings so um i would rather do my meetings at home where i could be comfy okay, we're gonna do a directed drawing i'm actually teaching two classes today because my team teacher is out sick or she isn't feeling good and so i'm going to be having her class join me today this morning and so i'll show you guys what directed drawing we end up doing but you guys it is so nice out today i definitely will have to show you but it's so bright and sunny and just warm it's gonna be like 55 which is like so warm for us um so we're definitely gonna take a really long walk later on today because it's sunny so um yeah so i'm gonna do my meeting this morning and then i'll check with you guys later on today you guys it has been a long time since the last time i vlogged but basically we spent so much time outside just on our porch um reading and then i did all the rest of my work this afternoon out on the porch in the sunshine and it was so nice but that kind of sparked me to start my planning for my garden so i took out all of the bins and containers that i have and made a plan of what i want to plant where and i'm so excited and then we decided to go to the local nursery and we picked out a bunch of seeds and we grabbed a couple of fun things that i'm going to show you guys and then we also went to goodwill because i wanted to find a kind of like shelf to put on our balcony so that i could have more pots and plants outside and we found what we were looking for and i found like the best thrifting find i've ever found i'm so excited and so i'm going to show you guys that all right so I found this rattan shelf at Goodwill for $24, which is really awesome. Um, I love it. It is obviously used um, and it definitely needs a good scrub. Um, so I'm probably gonna do that later. I just need to wipe it down and get all the dirt and dust off of it. But I'm so excited. I think it's so cute. And we were looking at um, similar ones online on Etsy and they're like $100, $160. And so I'm so excited that I found one. I was trying to style it. I think I'm gonna get a like plant stand to put this plant in so that it's like risen up because I think that will look really nice over here. Let me show you. So like this is the rest of our living room and then that's gonna go over there and then this will be on like a stand or something so that it's not just sitting on the ground. I was just putting there to see what it looks like and I'm so excited, I think it's so cute. So I'm so excited about that. And then we also got this little um, bookshelf kind of thing and um a couple of plants but there are kids playing outside in the backyard so i'm not gonna go out there and talk right now but basically we picked out all the seeds that we're gonna start i got this little seedling like greenhouse kind of thing and i'm gonna try and grow everything from seed this year 
um, since it's so early on. But last year I grew probably half of my things from seed and then half of them I bought when they were already like seedling kind of age, you know, like teenager plant age, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna try and grow everything from seed this year because I might as well have a lot of time. But yeah, I'm so excited about this. Like, look how cute. I'm gonna put some plants and like other cute little knickknacks on there. Yeah, that's basically what we've been up to. It's been such a good day. I'm so excited. It was so sunny and it was just wonderful. It was amazing to work outside. Um, but yeah, so I'll check in with you guys later on if we do anything exciting. I might start planting those seeds. So maybe I'll like record that. Happy Friday. So today is Friday. I obviously did not vlog at all yesterday and that's for a couple different reasons. Um, the main one was that my team teacher who's like right next door to me, she had a sub and the sub needed like some help with different things all morning. So I didn't get the chance to vlog because I was helping her. And then um, she's here again today. So hopefully though everything will be fine and I can vlog as normal. Um, and then it was also just a pretty busy day. So today's Friday. I'm so excited that it's Friday. I'm so excited for the weekend. Um, I have all my end of the week kind of things to do today. I did a lot of it yesterday, but I still have quite a bit to do today. And yeah, so I'm going to head inside into my classroom and I'll check in with you guys later on. All right. Hello, you guys. It is a lot later now. It's actually after my classroom. It's after my lunchtime. And now it is time for me to plan and work on my to-do list. I have a giant to-do list as you guys know every Friday basically I have a giant long to-do list and I'm gonna work on it and hopefully finish everything so my lights are off I'm gonna pull up some ambiance music you guys already know this is how I plan every week um, so I'm gonna do that today it was a really really good day with the kids they were just so talkative and fun and we just had a lot of fun together so many of my kids are growing like plants right now like they're planting seeds and they want to show me and tell me about it and so it's really fun because i also showed you guys on wednesday that i um am planting some seeds too so we'll be able to kind of like show each other and it's just fun those little things like that the little connections but anyways i'm gonna hopefully finish all the things on my to-do list so i can go home i'm very tired i have like a headache coming on from i think staring at the screen so long so let's get this to-do list done in other news i also have started planning my in-person schedule um for when we come back at the end of march and only like two and a half three weeks or something um i don't know the exact amount of weeks but i started planning our schedule and what it's gonna look like and so that's really exciting i'm really excited i went and talked to the para that's gonna be with me and just kind of showed her what i was thinking and then we'll be able to meet and kind of collaborate and decide if that's what we want to do and i'm so excited um i'll show you guys my room really fast so i don't think anything has changed in here since i showed you earlier in the week but um, it's just starting to look back to like normal and it makes me so happy because um, For a while there it didn't even barely look like a classroom like my stuff was everywhere Now at least we have some desks and we have like our back area set up again our library um, So I put up these and I don't think I showed you um, I just put some big like poster paper with some velcro dots like this on these open shelving because there's a ton of toys in there and I don't know how I'm gonna do play to learn time yet, but um, I just covered them up so that then they at least will be a little less tempted. There's also a desk right here, but we are set up to have 16 kids and we will only have 15. So I'm hoping that this is the one that they are going to remove. That way I don't have to worry about all my books being right here. Cause obviously like that kid is probably gonna like be really distracted by all the books. Um, so I'm hoping this is the desk that we can remove. And then my library will be 
Okay, and then I need to get a bin to quarantine books in after kids have like touched them. Um, but yeah, I'll have to think through the whole library procedure. They're not gonna obviously do it like we did last year. But I finally put up my March books earlier this week and I added some more because I don't have a lot of March books. So this is all the books that I have on here. But anyways, now I really need to finish planning so that I can get out of here. But yeah, that's my little update on in-person learning. All right, I'm free, I'm done. I'm so excited, it took me quite a while to get everything done that I needed to do. I had to take pictures of everything and upload all the assignments and everything like that and it took me quite a while, but we are done. Um, I will check with you guys when I get home because I got a few books that I wanna to talk to you guys about because I started a book last night that is so good and so I definitely wanna to talk to you guys about that. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. This week was a very long, busy week, but it was really, really good. So I'm super excited that it's the weekend. Also, um, I got these earrings from Copper and Quinn probably like a month or two ago, and I love them, especially with this outfit. I think it's so cute, and it just adds a little pop of color, which I love. I definitely am gonna need to go shopping before we come back but i'm gonna head out of here it's the weekend woohoo i'm so excited um so i'll check with you guys when i get home all right you guys i just got home i grabbed a kombucha um and i'm going to sit down and finish my book that i started but i wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of books because i got a lot of feedback in my last vlog that you guys said that you like book chat so we're gonna end off this week's vlog with a little book chat again all right so in my last vlog i talked to you guys about this book and said that i was starting it it's called the vanishing stare it's the second book in the truly devious series it was really good um really really good especially like the last third of the book i was like zooming through just because i wanted to know all the answers and there is a third book and a fourth book that is coming out in april so i have the third one on hold and i should be getting it soon it might be ready even today i need to check but um i'm very kind of patiently waiting for the third book to come in so i can read it but this was really really good i really highly recommend this series it's a really good one and then i just started this book last night because i finished that one and holy cow you guys like i read almost a hundred pages in one sitting because I could not put this down. It's a very quick, easy read. It dives into the story right away. It was like within like halfway through the first page, you were already like in the storyline and it's called The Best of Friends by Lucinda Berry. So good. Um, I'm probably going to finish this today because it's so good. Um, and I really, really like it. It's basically switching between three, um, woman's perspectives and they've been best friends like their entire life and something happens and it's basically just sharing each of their stories and what they're doing and stuff like that and it's really 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 good so i'm probably gonna finish this one tonight this one i would highly recommend as well so that's what i'm reading right now i'm excited to finish this one and then i just went on to my library's like page and put a lot of more fiction books on hold because i tend to work through those a lot faster than i do like nonfiction or self-help or whatever all that kind of books i read these types of books a lot faster so um i put some more on hold so i'll have another book haul soon but yeah that's what i'm reading so this is where i'm gonna end this week's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed i haven't vlogged like a whole week in a really long time like a couple of months and it was fun to kind of just take you guys along throughout our week um, I know I filmed a lot of things outside of teaching, but that's kind of like where we're at. I'm really excited to be coming back in person and to just start that whole process a little bit more in the coming weeks. And so if you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe because I will take you guys along throughout the entire process of getting everything ready for in-person learning. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. And if you aren't already, feel free to follow along on Instagram. I post there all the time and would love to have you over there as well. But yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Today.